I want you guys, I want everybody in here to leave today thinking of flipping the classroom almost synonymously with efficient teaching. I want you to erase your memories about like, oh, that's the Khan Academy homework video thing in which my kids don't, you know, some kids don't have access. I don't feel like kids will watch them outside. The, you know, all those, that cascading series of questions. I want you to wipe your mind of that and say, flipping the classroom is simply a more efficient way of teaching. And let's start from there. And what I mean by efficiency is it gives us the possibility, gives us the opportunity to both free our time and free our mind. Okay, and both of those things are really, really important for us as teachers in order to be innovative and creative. And I want to start with freeing your mind first. Now, if we talk about our brain and we talk about our cognitive capacity, as teachers, we walk into the school room, or we walk into our rooms or walk into our schools every day, and literally we are overloading our mind, our cognitive capacity with content. We're trying to grab a bunch of content from our long-term memory and pull it into our short-term working memory and quickly tell it to our students. Trying to keep in mind also, wait, is this second, second period? What did I say to, did I say this yesterday to first? What did, I didn't say, okay, did I say, no, I didn't say that to first period. And then second period, like I can't remember, I was tired first period. I don't, I think I skipped something. I mean, you guys are laughing, and, like, yeah, that's, that's, oh, yeah. that's our plight. <laughs> That's our plight. And if we're, if we're overloading our cognitive capacity with that kind of information, there is no more room for creativity or innovation. There's no room for it. So there's no wonder, at the end of the day, it's 2.45, the bell rings, and, or whatever time your, your school's over, the bell rings, and you feel like, oh my gosh. You know, like, oh, just another day. And you kind of drop into your car and you drive home. It's not usually because you're physically tired. It's because you're mentally exhausted. Think of what you did all day. All you did was try to recall all this information that you're supposed to tell your kids and try to keep track of it in your brain. That is a mentally and cognitively inefficient way of living your life. There's a much better way of doing it. And which brings us into freeing your time. For instance, Katie has filmed about 150 content videos. They average about 10 minutes long. She never experiences this. The thing we hear from uh, teachers that we train, the first thing they tell us is, I'm not exhausted at the end of the day. It's because they don't have to constantly try to recall all this information. They literally, you take that off the plate, then your cognitive, uh, uh, cognitive space or whatnot, your cognitive palate is clean so you can say, okay, I still have to remember my meeting, I still have to remember these students have uh, special services and all this other stuff that we have to remember, but I don't have to remember this big chunk, which is the content that is handled, that is delivered. So if that's the case, and, and let's get back to the efficiency now of time and in the classroom, if flipping the classroom is about efficiency, it's about a flip in efficiency. It's not about videos for homework and application in the classroom. It's not about that. It's a flip of efficiency. And I just want to present to you this concept that in, in a classroom, and I've seen this all over in, in different, different uh, grade level subject areas, that I go into a classroom and this is what I usually see if I make it very simple. The first 10 minutes is a warm up activity. You know, like, okay, focus, we are in math, here's a thing, and then we discuss it, and then we move into the main event. The main event in a normal classroom is okay. Now we're going to spend 40 minutes and I'm going to give you some information. I'm going to try to pull it from my, my long-term memory and I'm going to say it out loud and hope that somebody's getting something and then we move on. At the end of the day, you know, there's 10 minutes left of class. You start your homework or some sort of exit ticket wrap up thing and then the students leave. Now the, 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 the brutal part about this is we do this maybe three or four times a day, like the same process, the same 40 minute lecture or information that I need to deliver is repeated over and over and it's just, it's emotionally and mentally exhausting. So my perspective about the flipped classroom in its most simple form, in its most efficient form, is that the one thing we learn about filming videos using these simple tools, markers and whiteboards and whatnot, is that those 40, that 40 minute lecture content is consistently about a seven minute video. 
because you're not dealing with your own mental inefficiency. You're not dealing with management of a classroom. You're not dealing with repeating yourself, because uh, did I say this already? You're not dealing with any of those issues. You recorded this video when you were by yourself just to give the students exactly what they need in a, in a room by yourself. So you, you have that done, check. You don't have to think about that anymore. I've got that lesson, it's finished. I don't, it doesn't have to enter into my mind. So if that's the case, then let me propose an alternative, which is at the beginning of your flipped classroom, you show that seven minute lecture video instead of your warm-up. You replace your warm-up with content delivery. And, it's t and you can take that seven minute video, and we're gonna do a demonstration here in a second, but that could end up being about 10 minutes because you know, to keep students engaged, every couple minutes you pause it, and you have a short discourse to keep them, oh, okay, so that's what that means, and they keep doing that, and you hit play again. Meanwhile, you're freed up, you're, you don't have to, you can manage behavior on an individual basis. You cannot have to remember all this material and it's consistent from class period to class period. And then the 40 minutes become the application and the activity. So you're, instead of the lecture content being, the, being the, uh, the main event, now the activity application is. And then if you wanted to, at the very end of this period, you could show that video again. Maybe some students didn't get all the notes. Fine, you can put it on, put it on again and then they leave and it's a much more relaxed way of teaching and it's much more efficient and effective. 